Welcome to the continuation of 15 Tuesdays in honor of St. Dominic. Today marks the fifth Tuesday, and I'd like to give you a glimpse into the early life of St. Dominic, when he was a student studying in Palencia, Spain. At that time, a famine broke out, and St. Dominic was so moved by the dying poor that he decided to sell his belongings, including his books, these books would have been of great value because they were handwritten and on parchment, but he gave them for a higher good, for alms for the poor. And this is a, a great example for us of this respect for the dignity of each human person. When he was asked about the sacrifice of selling his books, he was reported to have said, I cannot study from dead skins when men are dying from hunger. It certainly was perplexing to some, but it was inspiring to others. It was said that his fellow students and even some of his masters who taught him ended up giving alms to the poor because of his example. It shows how a life of virtue is contagious and how it's attractive. The Catechism of the Catholic Church talks about the life of holiness and how it is, gives, all this aroma, gives off this aroma of Christ that others are attracted to and want to imitate. So this example of St. Dominic selling his books and giving alms to the poor, it shows this detachment from earthly goods and an attachment to heavenly goods. And the, the, really the challenge of virtue for us today is probably greater because of all of the material things that we have. But as we are athletes of Christ in training, that we are up for this challenge. And we want to try to imitate not only St. Dominic, but other saints as well in their life of virtue. We want to be training and preparing for this life of virtue. So we want to um, look at this particular grace that's offered to us in this example of St. Dominic in being detached from earthly goods and being attached to heavenly goods, especially detached in our heart. And so when we look at giving things to the poor, we want to uh, give what I like to call front shelf items instead of back shelf items. We wanna give our best to the poor. And we want to uh, look at St. Dominic's example, imitate that, but also really what we're imitating is the life of Christ as these athletes of Christ. So as we move forward in this journey towards August 8th, the feast day of St. Dominic, and we continue on these 15 Tuesdays. So let's ask for that grace of this particular, particular example that we want to follow of St. Dominic, where we want to be detached from earthly goods in order to be attached to heavenly goods. God bless you all.